Kotlin if expression. So, in the traditional usage of if then else, this if else block, we can use this respective coding like this one that is val num is equal to say minus 10 and if num is greater than 0, then print ln this is a positive number else print ln this is a negative number. So, in the then part or in the true part, obviously we are not writing then the keyword is not there. So, in the true part we are printing the number is positive and here we are printing the number is negative. So, that is the traditional usage of this if else block, but here we will be using this one as if expression. So, that is a Kotlin if expression and here it is if statement. So, we are writing this one in this way val num is equal to minus 10 as we did before and val out str output str that means it is a string type and is equal to if num is greater than 0 then this string will get will be assigned to this. Here we did not mention that it will be of string type, but when this assignments are taking place then we are getting this idea that it is of the type of string else we are assigning this string to this output str and later this output str is getting printed using the print ln function. So, let us go for one practical demonstration to show you that how this if expression can be used in our Kotlin coding. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this program we are going to explain if expression. So, here we have defined two variables num1 and num2 initialized with 200 and 200 result is there of type integer and output str is there of type string. So, here we have written this respective if expression. If num1 is equal to is equal to num2 then I shall I shall put value 0 to result else if num1 is greater than num2 then num1 else num2 will be put onto this result. That means, if two numbers are equal then I shall put 0 and if two numbers are unequal then maximum of them will be put in the respective result. So, here, here is known as the this is a if expression this is known as if expression. Instead of Java here in case of Kotlin we are having this scope that if can be written in the form of statement or if can be written in the form of expression, but as a coder we feel comfortable and convenient to write if expression than, than to write if statement. In case of if statement, if I want to do the same, then it, should, it, it, uh, it has to be written in this way that is if num1 is equal to is equal to num2, result is equal to 0, else if num1 greater than num2, result is equal to num1, else result is equal to num2. But instead of writing this, we can also write in Kotlin. Now, here this output string is either getting initialized with this value, with this respective string or with this respective string. So, if result is equal to is equal to 0, then numbers are equal will be going for this output s tier, else maximum number is dollar result will be going to this output s tier and then this output s tier is getting printed. So, now let us go for the compilation and let us see that what is the output we are going to get. So, here we are getting this output as numbers are equal. So, now if I make this one as 800, and keeping that one as 200. So, I am supposed to get the output that maximum number is 800. So, here is the output for us. We are going to get the output that maximum number is 800. So, in this way we have explained that what is if expression and how to use if expression in our Kotlin program. Thanks for watching this video.